Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E, and today we have a donation to the channel. This cost $53.11. They sent the receipt along, and the watch is a, a Lucent Picard Military 24 Automatic. And this is the box it came in. So I'm going to unbox this real quick really inexpensive cardboard box and this watch came from Joma shop so thank you for the channel donation they want to remain anonymous okay now let's take a look at this this is a pretty nice looking watch for fifty dollars Yeah, it's decent. Well, without further ado, let's look at it. Let's start off with some measurements. And this is going to be a 42 millimeter case. What is that? 21 millimeter lugs. 14.5 millimeters thick and then the wingspan is going to be 50.6 so not bad dimensions uh, nice Flieger type watch and also has a GMT included which is which is kinda neat I mean, look at it so this is a Lucent, uh, Lucent Picard uh, 24 and I guess that's for the GMT now it has a movement that I don't know about and I couldn't find any information about this movement other than it's automatic but it is decorated it has some um, Coats de Genève, but um, I don't know what you call that because this is definitely a Chinese movement. I want to say it's probably a seagull movement, but I uh, timed this watch, um, and the watch actually keeps really good time about five seconds a day. It has a sign crown, and this pusher right here is to adjust your GMT. And the glass on this watch is tinted slightly green, if you can see that. I don't know if that's the AR coating or if that's just a crystal, but it's tinted slightly green. Now the watch is being at 21,600 vibrations a minute, 3 hertz. And it has uh, artificial bluing on the hands. That is definitely not um, heat treated blue uh, hands on a second hand hour minute and a 24 hand but it actually looks good one of the things that Lucy and Picard did with this watch that's real nice is match the hands up with the color um, of the indices now they're painted on and it looks like the Lucy and Picard automatic uh, is also just all stamped and painted on together but nonetheless it looks pretty good you got an open heart at six o'clock no date uh, 24 hour GMT that is adjustable up here and to have the Flieger vibe you have the 12 o'clock designation with the two dots in the triangle at 12 now you have a 60 second track going around the the outboard, a really low rehalt, and a domed mineral crystal, and a really different case, kind of a kettle uh, case with sharply turned down lugs, and a riveted bracelet. Now, the bracelet, let me zoom out a little bit, the bracelet is uh, actually 
pretty nice. You got a real nice thick heavy bracelet with rivets. Nice tan. Two keepers. A signed uh, pin buckle. Signed strap. Genuine leather. And that's all. That's I guess that's pretty good for what you're getting for. I mean, you gotta understand the price point of this watch is fifty dollars. That's is that is not that much. All stainless steel back. Mineral crystal. One hundred and sixty-five feet water resistant. Display back. Sign crown. And a really nice open heart. Let me move the hands out the way. Really nice open heart. Movement. Now, this is, let me see. It's not hackable. But it is hand windable, not hackable. But what do you expect for 50 bucks? And it also has a real, a true GMT, which is neat. I mean, I gotta, I gotta admit, that's pretty, that's pretty cool for a watch. A watch that, that that's that cheap. That's pretty cool for a watch that that's, that's that cheap. So you just push it in, real nice, big crown. It's the $50 secret, I guess. I honestly thought, I uh, looked at these Lucent Picard watches uh, uh, before, and I honestly thought that they were just basically horrible. Now, who'd have thought this thing would keep time as good as it does? I don't know how long it's going to keep time as good as it does. But it is keeping really good time right now. Now, I'll give you a shot of this on my wrist. Wrist rocks check. My turner. I really love this watch. Check the video out on this. This is my Kentucky. It's a really lovely watch. Let me do a wrist watch. Let's see what this looks like on the wrist. Really stiff strap. I guess it has to break in. Yeah, it's real stiff. Well, that's what it looks like on my 7.25 inch wrist. And I have to say, it looks it looks pretty good. I'm not at all disappointed in how it looks. Nice Flieger type looking watch with a faux blue hands, open heart, nice symmetry on the dial because you have the circle for the GMT here and then the circle for the open heart at the bottom and that is really good looking and this strap is really heavy duty I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you it's a really heavy duty strap but this watch is I have to say it's worth 50 bucks check it out Joma shop you got a real nice uh, textured uh, uh, texture dial on there it's not that bad it's not that bad real nice beveling on the case stainless steel case nicely polished mineral crystal I 
I'm going to have to sign off on this. Any watch that keeps time for 50 bucks and it's an automatic with an open heart and a, an a actual GMT that works, I don't, I don't see how you can't sign off on it. Then it's an automatic. Also has some Prelage work. I mean, not Prelage work. Has some Cote Genevs on a on a rotor mass and on the bridge plate. Real nice, thick, heavy calf strap leather. Decent colorway. I think it's all right. So tell me what you guys think. That's a watch once over. For 50 bucks, you can't go wrong. I guess Lucien, P Lucien Picard isn't as crappy as I thought. So I changed my mind. I thought it was garbage, but now it's okay. It's not hot garbage. It's just it's an all right watch. So tell me what you guys think. That's a watch once over. I'll talk to you guys later.